In this video, we're taking down the criminals behind the notorious virus pop-up scam. We've tracked this operation all the way from California to Ahmedabad, India. Watch to the end of this video because we're gonna confront the California cash mule. Get out of here. You're picking up $36,000. His boss? Get the out of my phone, you mother Oh, you next. And the head call center owner all the way in India. No, no, no. 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 Have you ever gotten one of those annoying virus pop-ups from Microsoft saying that your computer's locked and you have to call a phone number to get it fixed? This is a very common scam based mainly out of India where they get you on the phone, gain remote access to your computer, steal personal data, and charge you for computer services to remove viruses that were never there in the first place. It's a scam that's been around for years and has resulted in billions of dollars being stolen from innocent victims. Now the scam starts in India, but to make it successful, they have people all all over the world. But thankfully, so do we. Hello guys, I am Agent 69. Welcome to Trilogy Media. Meet Agent 69, our new undercover informant working in scam call centers in India, helping us to dismantle them from the inside. Agent 69 plays a vital role in today's operation because he's not only using his insider access to identify money mules here in the United States, but he's responsible for physically locating the head scammer in India and confronting him face to face. But before we confront this bloke, let's dismantle his entire operation from right underneath him. If you watched our videos confronting scammers in the past, you already know that these scammers oftentimes will use chat groups on places like WhatsApp or Telegram to communicate and exchange resources with each other, creating a sort of mule for hire environment. Well, for today's operation, Agent 69 has gone undercover inside of many of these groups, posing as a scam call center owner seeking a cash mule in the United States to collect cash from a victim. And it didn't take him long to connect with this man, real name, Abhi Sharma, going by the alias Marcus Smith on Telegram. You know, it's $36,000. Tomorrow, 10 p.m. to the Clover Park, I have sent you the address, and I'll send you the, uh, I, I'll send you the clothes color and all. Yes. And the car, oh, yeah, and the, car color. And the car color also, so that you can walk in easily. It, it's for Windows call. Okay. I know. Yeah, it's for Windows BSOB call. So the customer agreed. We just told them, we told them first to do the FedEx, but then cancel that because of some issues. And then I, then I contacted you. So uh, will it be fine if we, if we do that uh, tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. for you? Yes, that's what I'm discussing right now. And, 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 and if everything goes good, it will be a long time. You understand that? So to make this clear, Agent 69 pretends to own a call center and pretends to have a victim in the United States of $36,000, ready to be picked up by a cash mule. Now, Abhi Sharma has his own call center. He also has many cash mules all over the United States that he uses for his own scam. Abhi Sharma tells Agent 69 he will arrange one of his money mules to collect the money from Agent 69's victim and then forward that money to him for a percentage. Aaj? Mm. Tomorrow will be better. I will just give you the uh, zip code, home address, or any customer ko kahi public place pe kahin bula le. Ah, oh, aap apne usse jo cash pick up kare, aap ek baar usse baat karo na, comfortable way kis mein hoga? Aap mere ko jaldi se batao kyunki kyunki agar aaj pick up nahi karunga, mere ko usko bolna hoga kal ke liye, theek hai? The meeting is set for 10 a.m. today at Clover Park in Los Angeles. But the cash mule isn't going to find a victim. He'll be meeting with us instead. Agent 69 gave us this mission and told the guys, like, look, you're pretty much too famous uh, to go do this. Like, everybody knows your faces. You are the scam baiting duo of the world. So while everyone knows who you are, you guys can't be the ones to go. We really didn't want to give the mule any reason to be suspect or to spook the mule off by perhaps seeing me or Art's face at a distance. So the brave and uh, famous Sean, Sean the Famous, stepped up and said, you know what, I will be the victim, I'll be the bait. So Sean said, like, I can be this victim, Bill Johnson. I have $36,500 in the envelope, which we sent that video to Agent 69 uh, day, uh, day prior.
he showed that uh, money to his scam uh, um, connection bosses. And uh, we decided to do this uh, trap in the park. Definitely a little nervous about this. Um, there's a danger element that I don't think um, I even realized when um, I was suggesting that we do this. I'm like, oh yeah, let's have him get in my car and you know, all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Oh man, so the money mule knows what kind of car I drive. He knows my license plate number. He knows what I look like. He knows where we're meeting. He knows my fake name, Bill Johnson. But I don't know anything about him. Like this guy could be there right now. He might be there when I pull up. We took two separate cars, Sean, Again, the day early, have to send to Agent 69 his plates number, uh, the, 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 the car, the model, the color, everything. So the cash mule knows which car he's gonna come and pick up that cash, right? And we're gonna, uh, and we're gonna bust him. All right, that's this more. Uh, 9.25 in the morning. Sean gonna be undercover in the car. Uh, Sean, uh, Sean's name is Bill Johnson. Bill Johnson. Okay. And there is a password, so he have to ask password from uh, from a cash mill, and password is John. Let me just park and I'll wait for, uh, for Sean, Sean to come. Where are you at? Where are you at? Okay, I'm pulling uh, into, pulling around right now into the uh, parking area. Uh, I see you. Okay. There, if you. Oh, I see him. That's him. Yeah, if you park. Um somewhat near us, I can back into a spot opposite the lot and it might work out well. Find a spot and we will f off. Yeah, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going over here by the basketball court. I think that's going to be the best place. I was just about to say that go all the way at the end. Yep. Yeah, go something like far away. We get there, we arrive to um, the park and I'm coordinating with Art and Ashton to find the right parking space, to get the right vantage point so that they can see the whole thing happening. And we decide to go by the basketball court and they park like kind of behind me here where no cars can pull up behind them. All right, it looks like this van is leaving and I kind of want to take their spot but they're packing up a bunch of children right now. And we also, considering this was a public place, we wanted to have the opportunity, again, not knowing what's going to happen, but we wanted to have the opportunity to see through a public scene, if you will. What's our code word, guys? John. John, yeah. John? Yeah, John. yeah. No, he have to ask for password. No. Okay, what is the password? Password is John. Oh. Yeah, our our code word though, so that you guys can come to the car. Um, D Let's do basketball. Let's say like, oh my God, I, I love this basketball court. Let's do basketball. That works, yeah. When I mentioned basketball. Yep, yep. Yeah, watch for anybody approaching my car because I'm not really gonna know. We have Agent 69 updating us in real time on WhatsApp as to what the scammer is saying. And we're just keeping our eye out. And it's again, one of those situations where everything is, every, everybody is a suspect. When we're waiting for a money mule, everybody is the money mule. Sean, when he is in the car and you get the password, are you gonna mention anything about the scam? Like not the... Yeah, so I'm gonna, I planned on talking to him a little bit and just being like, all right, so this is definitely going toward the computer repair, right? And just try to have him acknowledge it and maybe walk me through the how, how the money is going to be used to repair my computer or whatever. Great. The pop-up scam is one of many scams that start in the browser. All viruses, all computer scams, all malware start in the browser. Yet most people use their browser with no line of defense there. It's baffling, really. Guardio is our exclusive security partner here at Trilogy Media. We use them, and you should too, to protect yourself and your family from online threats. It's a browser extension that you install once, and it works 24-7 invisibly in the background, scanning every click you make and blocking anything that's malicious before it has any chance of accessing your computer. Viruses and scams are damn near impossible to undo but they're not hard to prevent. Use our link, which is guard.io slash Trilogy. It's also the top link in the description of this video. Use that link to try it completely free for seven days, and you're gonna get 20% off the entire subscription. 
just for using that link. And like I said, it's for your whole family. One subscription with Guardio covers up to five different family members simultaneously at no extra charge. Get your whole family secure, not just with Guardio's real-time browsing protection, but identity theft monitoring as well. And as soon as you get the Guardio extension, it's immediately gonna give you a free health report of your browser. You'll know right away if you've got any malicious extensions hiding in there. You'll know of any data leaks in the past that leaked your passwords so you can change them. It really is a no-brainer. Go to guard.io slash Trilogy, get that discount, give it a try. I guarantee you're gonna be glad you did. And if he tries to like say shit like the last guy did where it's like, oh, well, I was just sent to pick it up. I'm not really sure. Then you can maybe even question that. Like, well, I was told it was Microsoft money and, and see if he goes along with you, you know, and, and okay. kind of whatever you're comfortable with. But we'll, we'll come as soon as we... In fact, when you're in the car talking to him, we may just get out of the car and start slowly walking up, kind of like we did it. Um, I want to give park. like five, ten seconds uh, to have conversation going. No, we will. But I just mean like... You know, if he's sitting in the car with the guy, the guy's not going to see us. So we could get out and just kind of slowly start meandering over there. But And as soon as we hear basketball, then we can just like show ourselves. You know? Yeah. For I sure. don't want him to say basketball. And it takes us another 10 seconds to get there. No, no, no. I know? got it. Yeah. Just like little by little. I just want the conversation still will happen. Of course. You know, like, hey, no, yeah. No, of course. This is uh, here. This is your money. This is this and this, that and that. And uh, thank you for repairing my computer. Mm -hmm. it's, I have very important information. I have a lot of side chicks pictures and videos that I cannot show my wife, so and thank you for. <laughs> and make sure you mention the pop-up, because that's key to the scam. Oh, okay. Windows pop-up. The virus pop-up, yeah. So you got some virus and shit. Um, if you guys see anybody suspicious, just give me the heads up. I've got the GoPro um, just kind of on the dash facing me, and uh, I'll grab it real quick and put it down. Am I getting asked for a white, uh, a white, is it noisy parking? Yeah. Wait, You're so... Dying. It's on your right, here's from here three o'clock. Oh, you said somebody uh, just pulled in? He was getting out of his car, I didn't see him actually pull in. Oh, the guy with the hat? Yeah. Yeah, yep. yeah I see him, I see him. This, and hey guys, this could be a victim. Let's not rule that out, you know. Very true. So these uh, two City of Santa Monica workers, um, which are directly behind Sean, have been looking at us for a while, just FYI. Uh, they just they just bored the killing f***ing time. Yeah, probably, but they have been looking at us. All right. I did see a guy walking with a beanie over there with on his phone. Um, so I'm just keeping an eye out for him. Uh, I got a guy walking toward uh, me right now. Yes, I see it. I, I see, see him. It. I, I see, see him. him. Yep. Right Kay. across. Yeah. Mute your phone. Oh, mute the phone. Yep. In case he gets in. All right, we're going dark. Um, yep. Code is basketball. Uh, good luck. One guy came and he did a circle, and it was an uh, Asian guy, kind of a scrawny fellow, uh, walking around, looking around for something. And we just thought maybe that was him, you know? You can't, you can't exclude anybody. I don't know, I, I, it just, he looked really sketchy. Like, he, he looked at my car too many times, and maybe it was just because there's a guy sitting in a car and he's wondering why I'm sitting in there, but he looked at the car as if he had seen the car before. He looked at the car as if he, like, he had business at that car. Yeah, this guy is awkward. Okay, he kept going. If he circles back around, it might be him. Oh, he went that way. Okay. He just walked behind you guys, I think. We know that. That guy did walk behind us. I didn't see where he went. I have feeling that's our guy. I do too. I don't want to bring attention um, for that uh, Asian guy. Did you see where did he go? I did not. Okay. Um, yes. I know he passed behind us and he was like looking for every single car. That's gotta be him. Yeah. There is another guy approaching. Yeah, I see this guy with the, with the blue pants, yeah. All of a sudden, through the whole park, there is a big African-American guy coming towards, uh, towards Sean. And Sean was the reaction. Oh, I hope it's not that guy. Like, I hope it's not this guy. Like, please don't let it be this guy. I hope it's not this guy. This guy better not get in my car. <laughs> oh God, it's this guy. All right, keep it, uh, mute your sh 
Copy that, it's already unmuted. Okay, let's rock and roll. I think it's this black guy, dude. Okay, it's a big mother I will take him down. All right, mute, mute, mute. We make eye contact and he looks at my car and he looks at like, like up and down, like he's checking out a lady, like, mm-hmm. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, you have the passcode? Yeah. Uh, John. John? Yes, sir. Get in. Get in. I'm not going to just hand it to you. Oh. All right. Um, I just want to make sure that this is going for the repair. Yes. Let's head that way. Yep. He told me that like half of it is going to go toward the repair and then the other half would go toward cleaning uh, the pop-up yeah. off the computer. Do you know how that works? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I'm just like the, the carrier, so, so he's the one to do everything. I did hear Sean brilliantly lay out basically this is for the Microsoft virus, this is for my computer repair, and the mule acknowledged it putting himself in a much more difficult position to defend himself from what was about to happen. Okay, because he said that you would know. I just, it's a, it's a lot of money, so I don't want to, I don't want it to go, you know, to the wrong guy. Oh no, you're not going to the wrong guy, for sure. So, so all right, I just want to make sure. I've um, been sitting here for like an hour watching this girl shoot basketball. Oh, and, uh, I was sitting down there. You were down there? Oh, yeah, all right. Um, Okay, as long as it's the, the windows let's go, repair, let's go. like, uh, Going to then, left. you know. Um, Investigation okay. unit, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out from this spot. Right. How are you? Hey, what's happening over here? What's going on? Art runs up, tells this woman to f off, because uh, she was like right in the space that we were gonna confront this guy. Literally like door to door to Sean's car. And I was just like, this is our spot to confront. Like we, we cannot like, hey, special investigation, man, why you have anything to say? And then before I know it, they're ripping the doors open, ash and stick and a mic in this guy's face. What you doing in this car? What's your name? Yeah, the gentleman asked me to come Who's over. that? It's your friend? Uh, I don't know it. Oh, you don't yeah. know him? Why are you in this car if you don't know him? Uh, he asked me to get in the car. I asked you to get in the car, why? Why are you here? Well, a guy, uh, I met a guy down there. He told me to come over here if I want to make a $200. $200? $200, yeah. all right. For what? He just asked me to get an envelope. That's what he told me. You've all been right, doing? So, so let's rewind, because we just heard the entire conversation in your car about the yeah. PC repair and everything. So I we already know what's going on. Uh, so we're here with Trilogy Media. This is a sting operation to catch child, uh, not child predators. Wrong that video. We're here to ch uh, catch international money mule scammers stealing money from Microsoft scams. So what's your response? So I walk up and I shove the microphone in his face and I say, would you care to comment about uh, being a child predator? I let child predators slip out of my mouth because we had just done a bunch of child predator filming videos like that week prior or something. So my mind was in child predator mode so i was like no sorry wrong accusation about that i don't know any proof no so. come no, on you, you've done this before we know the guy in india we know everything and he said the cash mule who's gonna pick up thirty six thousand dollars been working constantly and getting paid for that so cut this bull i'm dead serious you drove for 35 minutes to pick up thirty six thousand dollars and you're getting two hundred dollars you just confirmed it with him so i live down here uh, i live down here down the how street. long you been doing this i've never done anything like that before so oh, you want to go to police? Sure. You're picking up $36,000. Sean, show, show the package. What is this? Look what is inside of this package. What is this? Ooh, a lot of money, huh? He just told me that I'll carry a box. Meet him at the... At the show me, let's see show your me phone. the message. Let's see let's what he phone. told you. Yeah. Let's, let's hear, because that'll prove it. Let's see. I just want you to know we're not law enforcement. We're not, we're not, we're not holding you here against your will. Uh, you're welcome to go anytime, but we are going to make a scene because we know exactly see, what's been going on. That's a message. I can't see the mic. It says get the, get the box. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, put the riders up. Okay, here we go. Get the box. Ask for, we talk to customer, he will 
with the, uh, with the box. That is number 310-901-1889. Got you here, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, the Honda crossover. Let's do top two. Just okay, wait, call. Me. Check the car, bro. How did so you who, find this who guy? Who is that guy? Who, this guy, 310. We met, uh, we met over here, like uh, down the street over there, like... Uh, so he lives here? I don't, I don't know, sir. I don't what know. Do you mean so you met him? You just... What do you mean? Like you went on the f to take a piece oh, no, no, in the it, park? I was at the, 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 the uh, coffee center. So he told me, he said, if you, uh, you want to make $300, I uh, know, I said $200, I said, why for? He said, just carry a box, you can give it to me. That's why. Where are you supposed to meet him? What are you supposed to do right now with this money? He told me to, uh, as, soon, as soon as I get the money, you let me know where to meet. Okay, okay. So, so, you got so the money. tell him you got the Next money. Thing. If you're going to help us, we're not, we're not going to give you to um, the police. police. We need the guy above you. Okay, sir. If you want to be a f***ing cash mule so in America say, and do illegal sh**. So I say what? I got the money. You got the money? Have him come to the park. Yeah. S send him a picture. Say like you got the envelope. Send him a picture. Say you got it and that the guy left. Okay. And uh, come pick it up. And go uh, go meet on a bench or something. Yep. Got the money. We take, a picture, take a picture of cash and send it to him. We introduced who we are. We said like, hey, if you're gonna work with us, we don't need you, we need the person above you. You know, you're still gonna get in trouble, but if you're willing to work with us and get, you're gonna give us your boss, we're gonna arrange a meeting with this cash. Say, call your boss, tell him you got the package, let's meet in the park uh, and give him money. Using the app, allow, yep. Camera. Here we go. Okay, send it. He's calling you. Send it. Uh, Where are the men? Say in the same park. Let's meet in the park. Okay. The picture didn't go through. Send that picture again. What does the guy look like? He's a, he's a tubby guy with, uh, he had the glasses on. What ethnicity? Whatever, no. White, black, Mexican, black, Asian? Black, 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 black guy? Yeah. Okay. He speaks English, obviously, right? Yes. Okay. Send the picture of the cash, the one that you just did. It should be in your... Yeah, take a oh. picture, one more. So there's more people involved in this. Mm, oh, of course. Yeah, all right. You have African accent. Are you from Africa? Oh, yes, sir. Which country? Oh, which country? I'm from Senegal, sir. Where? Senegal. Senegal. All right. Can I have him wait on that bench, maybe? Uh -huh. And we can sit away and wait for him to come. Did he go through? I don't know where he's going. Is he coming or not? He didn't say anything. Do it again. Send the picture. Here. I'll help him like this. Where did you meet him the last time you did it? The last time? Yeah, where, where did you meet last time? We met uh, at the, the coffee town this week. Cool. I live immediately to your appointment. To your appointment? What appointment? I told him I had a dentist appointment at 11. He has a dentist appointment? Me, me. Oh, you? Okay. When tell, uh, did you tell him to come? Yeah. Mm. Budger Park, then meet me later at Budger. Say, no, I can't. I need to give you that. Say that you're not comfortable. Do, do whatever it takes to bring him to this park. I'm not comfortable. It's a lot of money in this envelope. I'd like to know why you said to our guy here that you it was for the computer support and why you were so agreeable with that fact that, if you no, don't know I anything about him, this. That I didn't even know. That, uh, no, you didn't. He asked me if I'm the guy. I said, no, I don't know anything He asked about you if it, it was for the computer support. You said yes. No, I said I'm not the Yeah, you guy. did. I heard no, the recording. I just heard, heard the recording. Yeah. We were listening to the whole thing. You can rewind it. Oh, we will. I'm the guy. I'm sitting right here. You're trying to tell me when I asked you about the Windows pop-up scan, you, you didn't tell me that that's where the money Send me pictures, going? okay. You said yes, that's where the money's going. I said, is it going to go toward the computer? All right, repair? it's okay. Hold on. Let's concentrate on this. Let's f bring the, uh, the guy ahead of him. It's a lot of money. Yeah. It's a lot of money. Now go to a camera since you cannot do it. Get rid of this. Go to a camera. You cannot do this for some reason. It's not allowing. Go just do camera. Just go and just, yeah. Uh huh. Just use camera, take a picture, and then send to the. Uh... 
send me pic. Here we go. Take a picture. Okay, speakerphone. Put on speakerphone. The, his boss is texting him like, hey, did you get the money yet? You know, send me a picture. He's having a hard time sending a picture. Um, but then he finally gets the guy on the phone and the, the last thing that we expected was for him to just switch up languages. Hello? Yeah, I did, I did, uh, I did, um, I did, um, I did, um, I Come to the park. Uh, I get money over here, though. I don't feel like like going there. Money there. Are you okay? I don't feel good. I told you I have an appointment. Yes. That's why this one the appointment. Right. Right. Uh, sir, I don't feel, I don't really feel good right now, for sure. We were supposed to meet at the, we were supposed to meet at the cafe, you remember? Yeah, I have the, I have everything over here with me, though. I have everything over here with me. Yeah, let's see the Oh, come get the money, I beg. So he calling his boss, right? And he switched from uh, English to French. And I'm like, English, English, speak English. And you know, they, they casually talking, they casually talking, blah, 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 la, la, la. And, and he said, you know, like, hey, I'm not feeling well. Uh, I have my appointment, come pick up the cash. And the guy he was like, okay, yeah, um, yeah, I will pick up the cash. And something is not, you can feel like something is going on. I did not like that he spoke French first, and I don't know, did he tip him off? Come get the money. Hello? Yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, yes, I took the money. What did you tell him in uh, it's French? Did you speak in French? Yeah, he asked me if I'm okay. I said, yeah, I'm okay. Because we're going to translate it. Why, why did he hang up? I don't know. I didn't say anything. Right. You remember I was speaking English. Yeah. No, you I, I think you did something. I didn't do anything. Okay. Just say are you coming or not? Are you coming to get the money? I'm gonna translate every single piece what you said in French. And if you f set him off, that he's gonna go away, you're gonna be in trouble. I promise you that. The money. Yeah, the money at the park. Where did you park your car? I'm not driving, sir. I told you that I, I, I live not far from me. How far is the coffee shop you're supposed to meet him at? He, he stopped me down the street. Is that where he is now? I don't know. That's why I call him. So. Listen, our informant who work in India, they already said that you're doing this job over and over and over again. This yes. is not your first time. Send me the picture. Send me picture. You took a picture then? Yeah. I don't know why. Send, send the picture. Are you using WhatsApp? Which app are you using right now? I'm using uh, the app that you asked me to download. It's on Burner. Burner? Mm. Huh, convenient. Okay, so take that picture and send to Burner. Go back to your pictures. Get the picture of this cash. Sure, no, no, no. This, picture. this is not how you send. You okay. go back to or go go back to the pictures. Leave that app. Go to your pictures. Okay. Choose that picture. Here we go. And send it. Share it and go to Burner. Put more and find it. What is that app? It's not yet, though. Maybe tell them Burner's not letting you send a photo. What's your name? What's your original name? My name is Dominic. Dominic? 
Is it a real name that you have in your ID? Oh, yeah. Do you have your ID on, your ID on it? I don't have my ID on it. You don't have ID in your pocket? Yes. You're just lying. All right. All right. I guess Paul is going to find out if you have ID or not. Use the other phone. Do you have two phones? Two phones? phones? I don't have two phones. Phone. Listen, stop playing this game. Sir, I'm not lying to you. If I was lying to you, why should I be on the camera and stuff like that? Why should because I you got caught. You got f***ing caught. That's why you're in the camera. Oh, we man. set you up. We use this thing operation in your cash mill. And you've been doing this before. You have a, you're using app burner and you have a second phone. What is the second phone? Sir, I can stand there. Okay, ask, okay, ask the question. Which phone? And sick and tired people playing dumb. F coming to America doing f illegal cash pickups, becoming cash mules, becoming criminal. Why did you f come to America? You're not paying taxes from these. We paying f taxes. You work for cash. You're getting getting picking up cash, drop off cash, get cash in your pocket. Who f pays taxes? Exactly, we f citizens of this country paying taxes, and you're doing all these illegal f Sir, activities. I'm also a citizen. You're a citizen? Yeah. Yeah, why are you f***ing doing this job if you're a citizen? Like I told you, sir, you are the I was that over there. You see, I'm, I'm, I, I just... So you just met him today? Yeah, I met him. You met him like, today. He downloaded download Burner app. today. Okay, it all started today. Phone. This guy, who said his name was Dominic, claimed that his boss, the guy that sent him there, was local. He wasn't overseas. That's never happened before. Any other time we've ever had a mule refer to their higher up. It's always been somebody overseas, oftentimes someone that doesn't speak English. He claims, I don't buy it, but he claims that he just met the guy. And he claims that the guy said, I'll offer you a couple hundred bucks. You just gotta go pick up this package of cash. That's what he claims. It's a load of horse And we came to find out later he was he knew a lot more than than he was claiming to. He's asking me if I have WhatsApp. Do you? I do have WhatsApp. But... Okay, go on WhatsApp and send him on WhatsApp. No problem. If you want to save U.S., go on WhatsApp and find a f***ing way to bring that person. Our boy is saying, my guy is telling him the picture. He even don't know his guy is busted. He's telling me a guy cannot find the car. Okay. <laughs> you see, you're running f***ing red lights. You're wasting our time. Our informant saying that you got busted because you're not sending the picture. Find a way to f***ing send the picture. You see video capture. What? Video capture. Like... So, I don't know how to use this app, that's a problem. I will help you. I will f teach you. Take that number, save that number, just copy, add contact, hit go add contact, put any name. What's the name of that asshole? Yeah, give me okay, just put asshole. Put ass, ass, ass. That's it. Save it. Search. Put ass. Here we go. That's how you find your asshole. Put ass, no, yeah, no, search no, it. No, that's him calling? Just say I'm trying. Tell him the failure. English, please. Hello? You have to press one to start the call, is what it said. Is that a thing with burner or something? The longer it takes, the less likely it'll happen. Yeah, hello. Where you at? Um, yeah, because I, I thought you were park. you were coming to the park. Mm -hmm. You remember we were supposed to meet at the cafe for you to get the money. Oh, bro, I don't really feel good. You know, I told you my appointment is at 11, so I really have to go there. I wanted to give you the, the money and then take off. I'm touching you right now. I, I tried to take a picture, but it's not working with the burner. You remember when I met you, you told me that uh, I should, should, should get the money and then you're going to give me $200 that we meet up at the cafe. Yeah, but why don't you come to get the money then? I really got the money right here. Huh? Okay. All right. What time? What time, sir? Now. Okay. All right. I will see you there, sir. Okay, here we go. We're like, okay, go to the same coffee shop, say you got your cash. Yeah, yeah here you can go. Okay, this right. is your last let's chance. Go to the cafe. Okay, let's go to the cafe. It's walking um, distance. You right? walked here, right? Yeah. Okay, I can drive you, or if you sit, want to sit in the car with me. No, I'm going to walk with him. You're going to walk to the cafe? Where's the f cafe? Behind him. Yeah, or just stay, stay behind him and then just walk. There's so many cafes, so there's one down there. Okay, get him. This is going to you as of right now. So, should I hold it? Yeah, yep. of course you hold it. Yeah, of course. 
first. We're gonna play this game until the end. But when you get close, are you stay behind him? Yes. Don't be with him. Yes. I'm gonna stay back too. Okay. So what is the uh, cafe place, Dominic? This is not a way to live your life like this. When random people, like I, I don't like I'm immigrant. I don't believe that there is a random person come to you, offer you money, and you immediately said like, yeah, I want to do the job. Next time it's gonna be FBI in your ass. Yeah. You're old enough to be smart and make decisions for your life. Are you married? You have kids? You have kids? Exactly. And this is that you're doing for your kids? Hello? Hello, sir. Are, are you coming, sir? I don't know what, what you're talking about. What did he say? What did he say? So I don't know. Maybe he wanted to say, I don't know what you're talking about. And they hang up. Say, I have the cash. Let's find a way to, because my informant. Tell him I'm walking to the coffee shop. Can you just go to the coffee shop and sit down and we'll, we'll, we'll wait nearby and watch? Hold on. Let me, you want me to call you again? Yeah. No, what, one second. Because here's the deal. If we can confront this guy, we can take the blame. He's not going to blame you. But we got to talk to him. Otherwise, he's going to think that you took his money, and we don't want that. All right, we need to find a way to send him picture because right now the whole call center in India is stressing out. So let's find a way to send him that picture. Restart your phone and start again. Sometimes. Why can't you just go sit at the coffee shop and tell the guy I'm, I'm sitting here? I'm here. Wait for him to walk up. We could f around with his phone for an hour. Okay, no, just like if it does not gonna work. We well, already tried it. Let's see if he. No, he yeah. restarted the phone. All right. the phone. All right. Because they keep asking, like, show the picture that you got. Yeah, the but cash. the longer it takes for us to do this and get to him, then he's gonna get more suspicious. Yeah, the way that I kind of hang up like that, maybe I think it's suspicious. He told me to, I don't want to be in trouble over here, so I don't know why the guy put me in trouble over here. He wants you to take the fall for it. This is an illegal scam that goes on from India. I just left the hospital right now, though. I'm sorry <laughs> to hear that. Yeah, because, because it can be the cops set up. That's what they, they I think, think you know. Just go to the coffee shop and sit down, and we just stand 100 feet away and watch. Right, What's try the again. worst that can happen? Try it again. If he doesn't show up, then at least we tried. Yeah. Also, you need to take a picture from your... This. This. And you have to hold. Yeah, no, let's let's send it. Let's go on that table. I guess the call center's freaking out. They really want a picture, so he restarted his phone trying to send it, but... I'm thinking we just go sit at the, have him sit at the coffee shop and wait because the guy's like nearby. So, come on. Yeah, like this. Yep. Here we go. Send. Send. Wait. All right. Here we go. And send. Let's not Here let that go. hang out though in public. Put that away. Yeah. Put it. Put it. So the more we stand here with him, the more we could be being watched. Okay, so I so think you it. should just go to this the coffee shop. Go to the coffee shop. What and is we'll, your number? And we'll follow you. All right, go ahead, and we'll just wait. And if yeah. he's not there, find a table and just sit down until he shows up. And then when he meet, when you hand it to him, you we're gonna walk up. Like a plastic bag, I can put this because I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just close, just close just it up. Close it like right. this and put it in your pocket if you want. Put it in your pocket. We're gonna hang back. We're gonna text you right now. Um, I feel like I could follow him closer than you guys can yeah. because I, nobody knows who the fuck I am. Do you want this? Or you have one? I got one. All right, yeah. go ahead. And if we lose you, just text us where you're at. Copy. What he's saying? Huh? He's what? Safe in the bank. Yeah. In the, uh, in the bank now. He wants you to deposit this money in the bank? No, he said in the bank now. So that's what he said. What does that mean? Ask, what does that mean? What in the bank now? He's in the bank, you're going to the bank, asking like, what does that mean? Are you at the bank? Oh, should I ask, are you at the bank? Yeah, are you at the bank? How long is it gonna take you to go to the coffee shop to pick up this cash? That hat that you're wearing from church, you said you're going on Sundays, you're going to church. Where is that church? So you're a good citizen, you go to church, you're praying to God, and meanwhile you're doing illegal stuff during the day, right? in moving money, laundering money in America. Sir, like I keep repeating myself, I don't know the guy. 
it's not so why do you trust him? Yeah. Why? Do. Doesn't that sound sketchy? Sure. You're going to yeah. go to a parking lot of a guy you just met and sure. go pick up a package of cash? I'm broke. I'm broke. So I'm not afraid to own it. Uh, he told me that as if I you're broke, it. do Uber, do Postmates, do I legit work. Then f figure it out. Sometimes. Get a bike. People deliver on on bikes all the time. I came to this country broke as well with thirty five dollars in my pocket, but I find a way. I worked at three jobs. I didn't f kill anybody. I didn't f anybody over the money, financially, physically. I work as a f slave. I think if he just goes and sits there, maybe sends a picture, say, "Hey, I'm just sitting here. Maybe he'll come." Right. You know. I do prefer. I think that's our only option right now. He's already sketched out, so. Send him a message, okay. Who? He just replied to you. Send him a message, you will uh, correspond with him meanwhile. We wanna know what he's saying. Yeah, just say probably. What did he reply to you? Uh, say which cash. Which what? Yeah, which cash. Which cash. So he's playing dumb. Say the cash that I picked up. He knows something. Well. He knows, yeah. Because it took too long yeah. for him to tell Maybe him what's going cash, on. You asked me to pick up. Yep. Maybe try go to the coffee shop. Say, hey, I'm at a coffee shop. I have the cash. Come. Okay. And meanwhile, we're gonna we're gonna text you to see uh, what he responds to you. And we're gonna translate everything that you said in French. No, I'm not worried. You should be worried. I'm not here to be worried. You should be worried for shit that you're doing illegal in this country. I'm not worried right. at all. I just. Yeah, hang on a second. I just texted you hi. Did you get it? Yeah, he got it. All right, so here's... I want to say one more thing, okay? I want you to go sit in the coffee shop and wait. Or outside if you can, and wait. Next 15, okay? 20 minutes, Next, yeah. We're going to wait around and just see what happens. Okay, if, we don't, if we don't see you again, if we separate, all right? Yeah, you take a video of this guy and send it to that phone number, okay? And that's what's going to happen, because all this footage gets reported to federal agents. It goes on YouTube. It goes everywhere. So if I never hear from you again, it's all gonna get published. If I do get your video, we'll keep you anonymous and we keep you out of this. It means we can trust you that you're really innocent, but I want the identity of this guy. All right, if we don't get that, it's all on you, man. Understood? You still have this cash, still play the game, go to the coffee shop and, uh, and we're gonna text you. Sean, you can follow and we, let's yeah. go straight. Yeah. And, um, you go first, It's on guys. this side of the street, right? Um, on yeah. this side. Yeah, we're yeah, gonna wait back yeah, here. Yeah. yeah, I know. They could be watching now. Who knows? What's the sound? This story, I don't know what you're talking about. It's your birthday gift ticket. He's not coming, huh? No. Yeah, he, uh, he knows. Our agent 69 texting me and like, hey, don't let him call anybody, don't let him send pictures to anybody, because it looks like there is some, uh, they know that there is cops showed up, there is something going on. He promised that he wasn't tipping the guy off, that he was just having casual conversation to try to keep the act up, but he tipped the guy off. 100% he tipped the guy off. What did he say? Read, read him. He said, he said sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, he's birthday this ticket. Maybe some way, maybe already saw us. Well, it took so long for you to send a picture with your freaking phone. All right, and let's proceed. Let's uh, take this cash. Um, I want to write down your your credentials, your first name and your last name. How old are you? I'm 29. What do you think of writing? You're 29? I haven't met. I haven't met you, so... I don't know what you're talking about. All right, cool. May I see that, that what he said? Thank you. And stop meeting random strangers and picking up strange packages. Uh, that's the number, right? 424? Yes, that's me. What's your name? Ryan. So I can see I don't wanna, I don't wanna come across with your face anymore again in this park. This is, this is our neighborhood, and you're f doing shady activities during the day. Mo it's called money laundering. Trust me, sir, you'll never see me again. I, I better f everything. not. <laughs> he's, he's a little more uh, um, snarky than me. I'm, I'm willing to work with you, but I, you got to see this through with us, all right? You got to help us out. Let us know who is running this. If it really isn't you, and you're, this is not your responsibility, let's see it through. Help you us out, all right? You brought your family from Africa. You have kids in America. 
and you won't go to prison and your kid's gonna be without the daddy that's for two hundred dollars for two hundred dollars but use your head a little bit you know if people you saying hey that. i just met you go pick up this strange package in a park come on so what do you think it was drugs what are you thinking no he told me it, was it wasn't money. potpourri it was, it was money it was an envelope of money so and that and doesn't sound he, sketchy he, to he you he even told me that i should take my 200 and then come give him the rest and that doesn't sound sketchy to you so 30 did he tell you how, how much money in that envelope Okay, so you're opening the envelope, right? Thirty-six thousand dollars inside of this envelope, and you take two hundred dollars. Doesn't make sense that he's ripping you off. So you're just like so money hungry, so you don't care. Like I told you, I was walking out. So, dude, you look great for not having money. Nice new balance, nice shoes. <laughs> oh no, those are the rice, forty-nine dollars. <laughs> Dominic, just can cut this bullshit. I know that you've been doing this before and no. this is not your first time. Like I said, if I'm gonna see you in my hood one more time, it's gonna be your last time and your kid's gonna start re start uh, growing up without daddy. Sure. So now, f off Dominic, I don't wanna see you again. Okay. So send uh, pictures of everything uh, to Ryan. <laughs> I'm sure he did. No, it's it's took too long. Did you get the package? Send the proof, and he's not saying the proof because his phone is. He's using some shady f app that can't take the photo until you whatever restart it. You see, he restart the phone yeah. and everything went through. Of course. But it took so long to send that picture. So we call Agent Sixty Nine, and he said, "Hey guys, the other side, the owner, and all these uh, scam operation." they knew that it was cops involved. Did you guys say something? Did he, we like, no, nothing like, nothing happened. Thankfully, Agent 69 is a badass because Agent 69 wasn't finished. Agent 69 had already cut off contact with that scammer as, him, as the person he was pretending to be the first time. But he then reached out to them a second time as somebody else, basically rebating this scammer uh, but instead of being a call center uh, boss that he was claiming to be, he just claimed to be somebody completely different, looking for a similar service. And he also convinced the guy that he wanted to meet him in person to discuss terms of whoever the hell he thought it was going to be. How, how can we f*** over Americans together, you know? How can we work together to do long-term business? He convinced the scammer that he was another call center owner that wanted to meet up and start a business relationship. And he fell for it. So Agent 69 gets his ass in an airplane, flies to the area, flies to the city where he already knows the scammer lives in because he's tracked him, and confronts this mother in the park at night in his hometown to confront him about running this whole operation, stealing money from Americans with fake Microsoft pop-ups. came across his location uh, uh, it's thought but you can see everything here and I just found his office and I'm on the staircase but I can see from the balcony see it's the telephone from where you get the calls and all this is the building See, it is home, but it's locked. You can see the CCTV as well, and the floor and everything. It's his office. I came with my guy. This is it. It's his office and I'll be just confirming his house tomorrow. So right now I'm in the park and it's almost 6.59. So I'm at the spot where he told me. So it's the spot and he told, just told me to come here. So 
Right now, just got my scanner called me. Uh, he told me just I'm the I'm on the back side of the park. He's on the front side, so I'm just going here with my two guys, and it's almost seven two. Means it's seven two IST. So I'm just going to confront him within almost ten minutes. So. Stay posted. No. I just came here. No. I just came here. He's a little bit Why, bro? You can't do it. Okay? Stop. Why? So, right now it's 9.15 here. I just confronted the scammer. He told me that he's going to give me the rate 56 rupees per dollar for FedEx. But, after he just uh, noticed my camera, he just told me that what are you doing and all. He just broke my phone. As you can see that there are three cracks in my phone. My two guys, who is my cameraman right now, has done a lot of work, has done, has taken a lot of risks here. We are in Gujarat right now. It's it's nine sixteen in the evening. It's it's almost night. But my two guys have worked for me, and we just confronted his camera. I know his office locations. I know everything about him. I know his home. I have the footage of everything. I am going to give this all to TOG Media because they are the best. I am the biggest fan of them. So guys, I am letting you know as being, as being in India, these guys are literally making everything happen very in the world. They are standing just against the bad guys. These are the guys who take risks and try the world and I just make a promise if I work with them, I will just make it happen. I'm nervous because I have just now confronted that guy who just ran away from here. He sent the guy in the California for the cash move. He was there to pick up $36,000 and he said Dominic there. 
but the original guy was here with me and he was the fat guy as you have seen in the video so i am just telling you please please share all this video to everyone and share all the awareness i'm here we are here Kinoji media is here just to share just to share just to spread awareness All right, I'm calling the boss. Hello? Hey, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to reach my friend. Uh, who am I speaking with? Your friend, who is your friend? Oh, Dominic? Oh, I don't know no Dominic, man. Oh, but, you okay. All right, well, no, no, it's the right number, because let me explain. Uh, if you have a moment, do you have a moment to stay on with me just for a second? I just got this number. Yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't think so. So, um, uh, my name is Ryan. Uh, my business partner, Vlad, is here. <sighs> he changed his voice. Uh huh. <laughs> Hello? Uh huh. He's became Rodney? Hello? Your temporary access code. Hello? This is Ryan and Vlad from Trilogy Media. I just want you to know that. I don't know you. I don't just know then you listen to me. Know. Then listen. Please. Give me 30. Give me, shut up. Give me 30 seconds and I'll tell you. Give me 30 seconds and I'll be. You're just you're telling me to shut up? Yes, Liz, open your ears for well, a I'm gonna f break your hands, you f asshole scammer. You telling me to shut up? Oh. It's just like the call center. They yes. answer and then they answer. hang up. Why are you answering? Speaking. Hello? Yeah, this is me, Vlad. What do you want? F face. Oh, I, I, you know what? You f***ing lucky I'm in America. I only can insult you verbally. If you will be f***ing in Eastern Europe, I will break every single bone for your criminal activities, you piece of Get the f*** out of my phone, you motherfucker. Oh, motherfucker, Dominic is f***ing. You next. Dude, he's calling back. This f*** is continuing calling oh back. Oh, God. Please leave your message for 310. Yeah, let's leave a message. Yeah, message. Alright, put your bull to the side for 30 seconds and listen to this message because it impacts your future. This is Ryan and Vlad from Trilogy Media. We already know what you do for a living. We know about your scam. We've already caught Dominic, and you're next. He told us everything. We know who you are. We know about your, your money mule operation, picking up cash from victims. We're on to you, mother We work with police, we work with feds, and you're gonna be next. You f***ed up with the wrong people, and you, uh, you thought that you are gonna get 36,500. Instead of that, you're getting 35,000 dicks in your ass. And I know that you're working for Indian criminals, and this route of collecting money and sending your cash mules is blocked and f***ed, and you are next. So if you want to tell your side of the story, we're all ears. Otherwise, f*** you and stop stealing money from people. If I don't see Dominic one more time in my park, I'm gonna break every single nails of his ass. Cough. I didn't know you could break nails, nails? of an ass. I, I was trying to say that I'm going to remove every single fingernails. And where did the ass come into play? The ass came between the nails. You're going to put the nails in his ass, or are you going to take the nails off through his ass? Oh, no, let me actually... Either. Now you have to watch video. I don't have to watch anything. I just, no, it's just an artism. Artism. It's just you just f***ing it. Hold on. Are you going to call him again? Why? Yeah. To do what? You're going to make it worse.